Classes are canceled today at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill over that deadly shooting on campus. A faculty member was killed. Ty Lake Key is charged with first degree murder. He's expected to appear in court later on today. We need to talk about our favorite NPC shooting survivor. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms, the NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box. And if you like my channel, like my content, and what I do here, you can support me with the link in the description box. Everything is appreciated. Let's talk about this now. The story is published August 31st, and I believe it, it, it actually happened the day before, but there was a shooting at a North Carolina university. Unfortunately, one of the professors was killed by one of his graduate students. Now, before I go too deep into this, of course, the response is to have all the students rush out to rally for gun safety, which is just a really cute term for ban. But... What I want to point out is immediately it, it's illegal to have a firearm on the college campus. So once again, these people are advocating for laws that don't prevent what they claim they want to prevent because there's already a law in place that says you can't bring a gun on a campus. This person, obviously, <laughs> you can't, you just sound like a, like a broken record. Criminals don't follow the law. People with evil in their hearts are not going to adhere to any law you, you put before them. But of course, they had a massive rally for gun safety because of this incident here. And, and you kind of question with all that's going on elsewhere, this one incident on the campus is what drove them to action, which is kind of interesting. That's another conversation. But our favorite NPC shooting survivor has come out of the woodwork, Mr. Hogg, who managed to make his way down there because that's what he does. That's what he's about to once again, bring a rally to demand gun safety. Now, I wanna bring you into here as an article here, 600 students at University of North Carolina rally for gun safety after shooting Lee's faculty member dead. Professor Xi Jin Yan was killed by one of his graduate students inside a science building according to North Carolina authorities. We have no information on motive, nothing. Once again, this happened, and the first thing they go for is let's get gun control. Not let's find out why it happened, because we don't care. We just want gun control. But a shooting that left a faculty member dead and frightened the students at a University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill has galvanized gun safety advocates and local Democrats who rallied the grieving campus community Wednesday to fight for stricter state gun laws. Notice how uh, if this guy, this professor had been stabbed to death, you, none of these people would be saying a damn thing and Hogg definitely wouldn't be there. This is, this is the hypocrisy I point out repeat, re, over and over and repeatedly say, they don't give a damn about you unless you were shot. They don't give a shit about this damn professor. It's just the fact that he was shot because he'd been stabbed to death. You wouldn't hear from him. It wouldn't be this 600 people gathering to demand gun safety or Democrats coming out of their shells to even talk about it. That's the problem with all this. About 600 students held protest signs on the large lawn in the heart of campus and bowed their heads during a moment of silence as the iconic campus bell tower rang in honor of the deceased associate professor Zhi Ji Yang. Yang, who led a research group in the Department of Applied Physical Sciences, was fatally shot Monday by one of his graduate students inside a science building at the state's flagship public university authority said. Now, there's a lot of gaslighting here that I don't really need to get into, okay? But with quaking, I want to, once again, this is leading back to what I said earlier. With quaking hands and trembling voices, students chanted Yan's name Wednesday and raised signs that read, learning, not lockdowns, this is my reality, and one death by guns is one too many. One death by guns. We don't give a damn about you if you killed any other way. You, you know, we have come into this divide over this issue that is just idiotic. And Hogg is the lead clown in this show. Okay? One death by guns. 
Imagine if this professor had been killed any other way. They wouldn't give a damn. This is this is the part that irritates the just the bejesus. I'm, I'm trying to be not. I'm trying not to cuss too much. It's all. Yeah, I'm censoring myself. But that's just that's just just an ignorant statement to make. Ignorant statement to make. They waved copies of the Daily Tar Heels UNC student newspaper, which went viral overnight for its Wednesday front page disdain emotional text messages sent and received by students during the lockdown. One shot was fired, but an entire community was injured, said Luke Diazzo, vice president of the UNC chapter for March for Our Lives, is the most terrifying experience of my life. Gaslighting. Here we go. March for Our Lives co-founder David Hogg, who launched the nationwide gun control movement in the immediate aftermath of a fatal mass shooting at his high school in Parkland, Florida in 2018, hugged teary-eyed students, several who he had met previously. He urged to take their pain and anger. He urged it to the ballot box. Okay, now, I'm going to come out of here because it's just a bunch of crap after that. Okay, it's just Hogg gaslighting his bullshit. Hogg is a hypocrite. Hogg is also a coward. Now, He's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to his position. That's what, you know, that's what America's about. But I have my right to call him out on his bullshit. Okay? He used the incident of Parkland to ingratiate and edify himself, to elevate himself, to make himself a bigger person in society through the deaths of other people. He has no interest in this other than the gaslight for himself. And that's all I see in everything that he does. As I said, he's a coward. He had a chance to debate. Remember, I did a video on it. A Carleon Noir. He backed out. Why? Because he can't defend his position against someone who knows who has got his facts down. He cannot defend his position. And he knows it. This is gaslighting garbage to get a whole lot of other people using their fear to push his agenda, to push his own ego. Period. This is... You know, as I said in the beginning, it's illegal to bring a gun on college campus. It didn't stop this guy. So what other law could you probably, could you possibly propose that would have prevented this? There isn't one. And that's the unfortunate part. And them using this, once again, to push an agenda that has nothing to do with your safety because... I just think like uh, logically. Imagine they get rid of all the guns. Imagine they took every single gun because they're not going to get it from the criminals, from every legal law abiding gun owner who turns all the guns in. Do you honestly think that crime is going to change? Do you think that big violence is somehow going to magically change? No. People have been killing each other since the dawn of time. Cain slew Abel with a rock. And God did not blame the rock. He blamed Abel. And this is the problem with all of these. Every time there's a gun involved, we must blame the gun, not the person. What said, we don't have much information on, you know, this person, the background, motives. We have nothing. But it didn't. It just it doesn't take them long to take a breath and all of a sudden go running out screaming about gun control. If you want to argue, and let's go, you know, go down a rabbit hole, gun control. It caused this because you're not supposed to have a gun on college campus, apparently, because the guy was charged with bringing a gun on campus grounds. There it is. But this is just, once again, just using the dead for an agenda. And it, it's really sad. It really is sad because they're not out to solve the actual issue of violence. They're just out to push an agenda through the deaths of exploiting the deaths of other people. And it's really old. You want to solve the problem? Start talking about mental health. Because every time we talk about mental health, they go, no, 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 we don't talk about that. Because if you have to talk about mental health, it's going to lead you down to the road of, yeah, maybe it's not the gun's fault. They don't want the gun to be taken off the hook. Not the person pulling the trigger, the gun itself. That's what this is all about. And, you know, and, and all respect to Mr. Noir, when he says, you know, we shouldn't attack him. Yeah, we not. I'm not talking about physical or verbal. I'm talking about we should call out Hog for what he is. Okay? It's a self ingratiating coward who uses the deaths of other people to edify himself. And that's all I see in this person. And, and quite honestly, like I said, and I'm going to repeat it because it's important. If this professor had been killed any other way, he wouldn't be down there 
martial lives would ignore it, the Democrats wouldn't say nothing, and there'd be no calls for any kind of crime bill change. That's the dirty part of this whole story. That's the part, that's the biggest thing I got from it. They don't care about these people. They care about using them to push an agenda that has nothing to do with public safety. But there it is. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.